hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's peculiar here and i'm back with another tutorial so in today's video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how i crochet this kylie jenner top this top is super easy and beginner friendly i think it's the most easiest thing i've ever made trust me guys it's super easy now i know i've been gone for a very long time and i haven't been posting but i'm back and i'm gonna be posting a lot of stuff so stay tuned don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video now let's get started For this video, I'll be using a size 4 weight yarn and it's in the color green or turquoise or aqua, whichever one you want to call it. And it's 100% acrylic. And I'll also be using a 5mm crochet hook. So to start off, we're going to start by making a slip knot. and when you make that slip knot you're gonna make a chain that is long enough to fit from your chest to your underarm and i'm gonna show you guys in the next clip i made a total of 46 chains and that is going to be different for everybody and i'm a size medium so you can adjust it to your size by just making that amount of chains so from your chest to your underarm anyways i'm gonna chain one so i chained 45 actually and then plus one 46 for turning and then i'm gonna insert a half double crochet into the second stitch from the hook so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through the remaining three loops. And you're going to insert a half double crochet into every single stitch for this row. So I'm going to keep making my half double crochets throughout the whole chain, and then I'm going to come back for row two. So I'm done with my first chain and this is what it looks like. I've inserted half double crochets on every single chain. And now from here, I'm just going to chain one. So chain one and then turn your work and then keep inserting half double crochets into every stitch. So in this hole right here, you're going to insert half double crochets in every single stitch and I'm gonna insert a half double crochet into every single stitch for this row so i finished the second row and i'm just going to chain one and do the exact same thing that i've been doing for all the other rows so i'm just going to keep placing half double crochets into every single stitch and this is basically all what you have to do for this top it's really simple and it's just a repetitive process so you can achieve the um finished product which is like a a square diamond shape it's just a big like block 
So it's just gonna be like really equal because all the sides have to be equal because it's a square, right? So yeah, we're just gonna make um however amount of chains we need to make um the top a square. So yeah, just keep making half double crochets and yeah that's basically it for this top it's super easy and i just wanted to make it because um it's summertime and you know i just needed to make something and because i haven't dropped a tutorial for you guys in the longest time so yeah it's it's easy but it's still you know beautiful so it's a win-win but yeah anyways just keep um placing your half double crochets make sure you chain one at the end of every row make sure you turn of course and yeah you're good to go for this top i feel like this top is like really beginner friendly and it's gonna be easy excuse me it's gonna be easy to understand the stitches because the stitches are pretty basic it's just a half double crochet for the main portion so yeah i just hope you guys understand what i'm doing and i hope i'm not going too fast by the way if you have any questions about this top feel free to drop it in the comment section below or just you know DM me on Instagram, my Instagram is down below or it's on the screen. Just, you know, just fire me a DM or just put it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer. So, yeah. And thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. I've really been getting so much love. And we're also one year on on YouTube. Yup, one year on YouTube, guys. That's amazing. And I have like 3K in a year. That's crazy. I'm literally grateful for each and every one of you that watch my videos. Aww. Subscribers, like everybody. Even people who take time to share in the most little way. You know, people who drop comments. Like, you guys are just the nicest people ever. And I'm just really grateful for everybody here. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, I'm done with row number three. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Chain one, turn my work. And I'll keep going until I have a huge block. I think I'm going to go for about, like, 45 rows. Because that's how much I change. But... I'm just gonna see what I have when I'm done. So yeah, keep chaining one and making your rows and I'll meet you guys when I have my huge square. So this is what the top looks like right now. This is what I was trying to tell you guys when I said the, um, the top was basically like a whole square, but right now it's a rectangle and I'm not done. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how it's gonna look like and then it's also gonna like you know it's also gonna like form like this diamond shape because it's gonna be like this on the body so yeah i'm not done and i have a few more rows to go but yeah so guys this is what i currently have for the top as you can see it's a full square and all the sides are equal so if you want to know if it's an actual square just use a measuring tape to measure all your sides and make sure they're equal so I'm done with the body portion of this top now what we're gonna do is make the string or the straps that goes to the back so what I'm going to do from here is to cut off my work and don't worry about this string, I'm going to lose it later. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot 
and after making that slip knot you're just gonna make a very long chain very long so this chain needs to be able to go all the way from your back it needs to cover like your back so you need to be able to tie it like twice from the back so that's why you have to make it really long so i've made that very long chain and what i'm going to do from here is to get my scissors and cut off the excess yarn that i don't need and then fasten off okay so what i'm gonna do is to use this and then i'm gonna chain two and fasten off and then so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna decide which part i want to be the top part so which part i want to be the neck part so this is gonna be the neck part i've decided i want this to be the neck part so place it on like a diamond and as you can see it's like a diamond right so um take the string And then take the top part of your top and then pull it through the top part so like insert it and then pull the string through And then so once you have that you're gonna turn the your work and then make sure both sides are equal so that's what I'm trying to do right now and make a crisscross so like this you're gonna make an X yeah something like this and then insert your hook and pull the yarn through you'll pull the string through and then do the same thing for the the other strap so insert your hook and pull through And then you can tie it like this from here. So right now, cut off any extra yarn that you don't need. So check around for any excess yarn and that's basically it for the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you.